It is no surprise that Henry Warner Cook joined the Merchant Navy, as he must have had the sea in his blood. However, quite a tragic story follows as this Cook family served their country. Henry's father, Robert Henry, also a mariner, had been born in Wells next to the sea on the north coast of Norfolk, and his father in turn had been born in Wells and was also a mariner. Like many men from East Anglia, it is very likely that Robert Henry Cook at some point found himself docked in Hartlepool and realised how much work there was to be found in those then vibrant docks. Or perhaps he just came to Hartlepool in search of work. On June the 5th, 1876, at the age of 24, Robert Henry Cook married Mahala Warner at St Hilda's Church in Hartlepool. So it's likely that they both first lived in the Headland area. How they met we can only speculate, but Mahala herself had come from a family of agricultural labourers from Southborough in Norfolk, some 40 miles away from Wells. She was in service in Norfolk in 1871 as a young girl of 18, and possibly found herself in Hartlepool, like many others from her area, in a further position as a maid in one of the affluent homes at the time. Did the couple meet in Hartlepool? Did they know each other before arriving in the town? We do not know. By 1881 the Cook family were living in Beechwood Road, Hartlepool, which was on the newish Victorian Bellevue estate, at the time populated by tradesmen and seamen. The houses, although near to the steelworks, had front gardens, which gave them a little more status than the nearby terraced homes. Beechwood Road is under the A689 now, but part of nearby South Parade looks much as it had done in the 1880s. The Cooks had three young daughters by 1881. By 1891 the family had grown and moved to nearby Studley Road on this same Bellevue estate, and there were seven children. All but the last, eight-year-old Warner, were girls. By 1901 the family had moved to York Road and the oldest son, Warner Cook, had left home for Australia. The family was still at 222 York Road in 1911 and were to live there for many years. But 18-year-old Henry Warner Cook was a marine engineer apprentice and his father was again away at sea. In the spring of 1918 Henry Warner Cook married Ethel May Siddle and on the 16th of January 1919 a son, also called Henry Warner Cook, was born. Sadly, the baby was never to meet his father, and he was given as deceased in the baptism register at St Paul's Church. The address at the time was 90 Milton Road. On the 7th of July 1918, the newly married Henry Warner Cook was third engineer on SS Ben Lomond. The ship had been built by West Hartlepool shipbuilder William Gray in 1906, and was an armed British merchant ship carrying iron ore for moss tankers from Seville in Spain to Ardrossan in Scotland, when, without warning, she was torpedoed 30 miles off the coast of Ireland. 23 lives were lost, including that of the master and Henry Warner Cook. Henry Warner was posthumously awarded the Mercantile Marine Medal on the right and the British War Medal. Meanwhile, his father, Captain Robert Henry Cook, was also awarded the same medals for his work in World War I. Henry Warner's older brother, Warner, who had gone to Australia, joined the Australian Army, was gassed on the Western Front and invalided back to Australia. In Stranton Cemetery, the grave of Captain Robert Henry Cook, who died in 1931, aged 80, and his wife Mahala, who died in 1936, aged 81, can be found and Henry Warner Cook, their second son, who was killed off Ireland on the 7th of July 1918, is also inscribed on the stone. However, this is not the end of the story. Henry Warner Cook's younger brother Rayner, who had served as a very young man in World War I as a fourth officer, and again in World War II, died at sea on the Matiana in 1940. Also, the young orphaned Henry Warner Cook, Jr., presumably inspired by his late father and sea captain grandfather, joined the Royal Navy in World War II. His ship was HMS Warspite, a Queen Elizabeth-class battleship built in 1912, which had also served in World War I and had fought many successful battles. However, during the German invasion of Crete, Warspite was used as a floating anti-aircraft battery and, like many other ships, 
suffered severe damage from German air attacks on the 22nd of May 1941. The 500-pound bomb damaged her starboard 4-inch and 7-inch batteries, ripped open the ship's side and killed 38 men, one of whom was Henry Warner Cook Jr. So sadly, Ethel Cook had lost both her husband and the son that he never met in similar circumstances while carrying on the family seagoing tradition and serving their country. <laughs>